can. Okay. Um, right. Okay, let's start sitting down like we normally do. You know, we've got more people trying to come in. So let's start sitting down with the feet parallel. That's it. So sitting down with the feet parallel. And we're going to take a deep breath in onto your tummy. You're breathing through the nose. So you're gonna breathe in for two counts. We breathe in one, two, hold the breath. And as you breathe out, you breathe out fully. One, two, three, four, and relax. Breathing in for two, breathe out for four. Breathing in for two into your tummy. Hold, breathe out, one, two, three, four, and, and again, inhale, let the tummy rise. One, two, exhale, one, two, three, and four. Good, now we're gonna get the shoulders up. Inhale, shoulders up towards your ears. Exhale, release and relax the shoulders down. Empty your lungs. Inhale, shoulders up towards your ears. Exhale, release and relax back down. And three. And down. And four, and down, and one more, and five, and down. Let your arms drop by your sides, palms facing the back. Feel wide across the chest and careful not to have the rib cage reaching out. We keep the rib cage on top of your navel, so breastbone on top of the navel. Inhale, press back, breathing in and gently breathing out. Again, pressing back. So we're doing chest expansion and return. And three and return. And one more, breathing in and return. Now we're gonna add the head movement with the breath. So we start the same, you breathe in, press the hands back. Breathe out, turn the head to your right. Find that stretch. Inhale back to the center. Breathe out, turn the head to the left. Inhale back to the center and then release and relax back. One more time, inhale, press. Exhale, turn left, center, turn right, center and release. Now we take the arms up as we did last time. Inhale up. Exhale, we're going to circle the arm and see if we can get a little stretch behind you. Inhale up. Exhale, we want to stretch behind. And three. And stretch. And four. And stretch. Let's do one more and five. And stretch. Now we reverse. Open up one. Up and over, feel the shoulders going down and sliding down. Inhale, lift. And down. And Three, 
and down. And four. And down. And five. And down. Good, relax the shoulders. Let's open the legs for us to go into our roll down. So remember with the roll down, we want to stretch the back. So you're gonna breathe in. As you breathe out, you're gonna go chin to your chest and then take as many breaths as you need and you're gonna roll down all the way to the ground until you can't go anymore. Stay there, breathe in. As you breathe out, rolling up, restarting the spine and then up. Inhale at the top, exhale, we nod and then we fold, exhale, take as many breaths as you need. Stay there, breathe in. As you breathe out, roll up. And up. Let's do one more. And nod, exhaling down. Feel that massage, feel the stretch, go all the way down. Stay there, breathe in. As you breathe out, we open, we roll. And then we come back. Now we did this the other week. You have your hands on, on your knees and we are gonna bring the knees in and out with the torso, okay? Let's first do the torso and then we put the legs together. So you breathe in, as you breathe out, we've been doing this, we did this last week as well. You roll and feel the stretch across the back. Inhale, we lift, we open the chest, open the collarbones and the head goes nice and long, keep the back of your neck nice and long, shoulders down. Exhale down. Inhale, open, and up, and again, e exhale, inhale, rise, and up, and again, and exhale, and rise and up and last one down and rise and bring it back to the center and now we add the legs so breathing in to begin as you breathe out we take the knees in working on the hip joint and we curl and then as you inhale, we open and up. Exhale, knees in and curl. Inhale, open and up. That's it, good. Exhale, curl. Inhale, open and up. Twice more and curl. And open and up. And again, curl. And open and up. And again, curl. And open and up. Bring it back to the center and let's bring the legs back to neutral, to neutral or to hip width apart. Let's bring the hands back so you can lean back a little bit if you need a little bit. So we're gonna go to the hip flexor work. So nice and tall, we lift one leg up, one, and lower. Keep that abdominal connection, two, and lower. And three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, 
9, 10, other side, and 1, and 2, and 3, and 4, and 5, and 6, and 7, and 8, keep pressing yourself up and away, and 10, good, and then relax down. Now, the next exercise, if your prosthetic is below the knee, you're going to do with both legs. If it's above the knee, you're do, going to do twice with the same leg, because we're going to work on the quads, okay? So we're going to go into leg extension. If you need, you can push yourself a little bit back. If you need a little bit more support, and you can hold. So I want you to extend, feel that the quads working, and then return. You might not be able to extend if your hamstrings are very short. It might just feel a big stretch and you won't be able to extend. But we are trying to extend and get these muscles here working. And then, does that feel okay? It might feel quite hard. Good. Three. And in. And four. Trying to stay tall. And in. And five. So really concentrating on the quad, six and seven and eight and nine and 10 and down. Gently just give your quads a little bit of a, a little bit of love, <laughs> a little bit of a massage. And then either you go to the next one or you do the same one. Okay, you, and one, and in, and two, and in, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and 10. Down, and again, massage the quads a little bit. Good, now again, sitting right on your sitting bones, we're gonna go into our oblique work, so, Right hand behind your head, left hand down towards the ground, and careful not to allow the rib cage to flare up. Keep sitting nice and tall. You're going to inhale, reach towards your left. Remember that your right hip wants to stay firmly down into your chair. Exhale, use the obliques of the right. And two, and up, and three, and up, and up, and up, five, and up, and six, and up, seven, eight, nine, Then, good. Let's swap sides, bring it down, and then we reach towards the right. One, left hip down. Exhale, use the obliques on the left. And two. And three. And four. And five and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and 10. Good, release and relax. And now you're gonna roll down, let your back stretch a little bit, relax forward, take a breath in, and roll up. 
and bring it to the center. Now we're gonna go into our sitting abdominals. So you're gonna shift forward again. So you are, um, so you have a little bit more room um, on the back so we can go into the abdominals. We're gonna start with the C curve. Yeah, so remember, we can have the hands here. If this doesn't feel comfortable, you can bring it here, okay? I prefer it here because I, I find it a little bit easier to move my back. So nice and tall. Remember that we are not collapsing. We are keeping that long back and you draw the tongue in, feel that connection of the lower abs and your pelvic floor. And we stay there, inhale, we go back a little bit from that position. Exhale, we draw the tummy in as if you're scooping up and over. Inhale, exhale, draw the tummy in and scoop. And three, and four, and five, up, and six, and seven, eight, nine, and 10. Very good. Now go into a flat back, nice and tall. Swap the hand that is on top, nice and tall, and then go in a flat back. Inhale up, careful not to arch, and then exhale, you go forward. And I'll show you sideways, and we go forward like this. So inhale, we go back, so it's a flat back. That's it, exhale, draw the tummy in, bring in that pelvic floor, and you go forward as well. That's it, inhale back, exhale up and over, and four, and up and over, and five, and up and over, and six, and up and over, seven, and eight, and nine, and 10. Good, from there, nice and tall, release, and then let's roll down. Relax the head, neck and shoulders, roll up, and nice and tall. Now, remember, bring your feet a little, either both of them further back, or one forward, one back, and we're gonna try to um, stand up okay so you're going to breathe in as you breathe out you're going to try to send your weight forward and then stand up that's it and good now i want you to walk behind your chair now if it feels too much to do it standing please lie down and i'll give you the the alternative lying down but standing it's good for us to work standing as well as it, it works on your balance i do want you to hold on to your chair and the first thing we're going to do we're going to be hip width apart ha hands re just relaxed on the chair and all you're going to do you're going to bend your knees and when you bend your knees you need to be careful that the hips don't go forward or don't go back we want to basically just release the hips and the tailbone goes straight down and you go until you feel that your Achilles tendon is, you know, can't go anymore. You stay on a flat back and then you press the feet down and we lift, drawing the tummy in. Just have a little check that your knees are going over the, the second toe. Just have a little look down and then we go up. And we do just five of those. Three, up, and four. That's it. Up and five. Up. Now, again, you need the chair. If this feels too much, you are just going to do five more. Otherwise, we're doing the reverse. We're going to go on your toes. Okay, so it's so if you've got your prosthetic on, you're going to notice that you are going towards your leg and not the prosthetic leg. Try to keep your balance equal. So you're going to you can look down on your hips and making sure that you are not shifting to one side. And then you slowly go down. And you go up 
I know this is really hard work, but it's really good for you. And then slowly down. And three, remember if this feels too hard, you can just bend your knees. So, and down, and four, and down. And if you are on the floor, you are on a bridge and you're just lifting your heels up as we did on another class. Five, and down. And now just shake it, shake it a little bit because the cup will be feeling quite tight. That's it. So now we need to go a little bit further back so we can lean forward a little bit. It's like we are kind of <laughs> on this position here. Your arms are in front of you and your knees are slightly bent and we want kind of a flat back here. Shoulders down, try not to have the shoulders up. So you're really relying on the chair. Feel your tummy coming in and we're going to take one leg up. Now, if it feels too much for you to leave your weight on your prosthetic leg, you're gonna do twice on the on, okay? And we're gonna lift and down. Otherwise, you're gonna lie on the floor and do the leg extension as we've been doing on the floor. Three, that's it. And four, really use the chair. And five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and 10, down, and down. Let's swap sides. And one, lean forward to give your back a little bit of room, two, that's it, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, bring it in. Now keep the knees bent and we're gonna take one leg to the side and we lift one, lower, two, lower, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, down and in, or the side, extend, and one. Again, if you are lying on the floor, you do as we've been doing last week, you just take it up and sideways and return. Five, eight, nine, ten, and down, and relax. Good, now you're going to turn, so you're holding the chair. Okay, and again, you need to have a good support because we're gonna work on the hip flexors one more time. This is going to feel heavy, much heavier with your prosthetic leg because it's heavier there. So stay, what you need to do, you need to really use your torso, use your tummy to lift yourself up, okay? And we're gonna go up and down, okay? See if you, that's it, two, down. Three, so again, the hip flexors are working. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, down. Good. If you need to, if you can, switch sides of the chair, okay? If you just make sure you've got good support. And here we go. One, other side if you can. Two, three, as you kick, draw the tummy in four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, down and relax. Now you're gonna separate your, knee, your legs a little bit. We've done this on the, in the beginning of, and you're gonna place your hands on your hips and bend your knees a little bit so it gives you freedom to your hips, okay? And we're gonna go hips to the right, forward, left, back, right, massaging that lower back, massaging the hip joint, back, and right, forward, left, back, and right, forward, Left, keep natural breathing. One more, right, forward, left, back. We reverse, left, 
forward, bless you, right, back, and left, forward, right, back, and left, forward, right, back, keep breathing, left, forward, right, back, and again, left, forward, right, back, last one, left, forward, right, back, and from there, up, and then just relax. Let's bring it again, hip width apart, and we're gonna go into our roll down. So we're gonna do the roll down with the arms. So we inhale, we lift up and look up. Very carefully, as if you're diving down, you're exhaling, going down. Relax down, you can bend your knees as you are there. Feel the breath into your back. Exhale, rebuild your spine, one vertebra on top of the other. All the way up. Nice and tall. Inhale, lifting up. If you need, you can do the roll downs, resting on a wall, like you can just about see me here. You rest on the wall and then you go down, resting on the wall so you've got more support. And then we roll up. And up. And let's do one more. As if we are diving down, 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 down. And Gently roll. Good. Now let's bring the arms up and above. Now, if you're getting very tired, you can do this sitting down because we're just doing the rotation, okay? If your legs are tired, please sit down. You're gonna inhale to roll, to open. Exhale to return. Inhale, reach fingertips away from each other and return and three and return and four and return reaching out and away five and return and six and return Stay there, drop, and just release and relax. Good. From there, let's do one more roll down. You're going to roll down. Bend your knees. Really feel the lower back and the hamstrings stretching. Take a couple of breaths at the bottom. Feel that stretch. Relax the head, neck, and shoulders. Relax your arms. Relax your hands. And then from there, we roll up. Building yourself tall. As you get there, just close your eyes for a moment and feel the weight equally distributed between the two sides. Feel your head, neck and shoulders relaxed. Crown of the head over the breastbone, over the navel. Feel the weight distributed equally over your feet. And then open your eyes. Take another breath in, stay on that length, stay tall. And then you're gonna really even relax the arms. Good, well done. Thank you very much. Thank you. I will see you all next week. <laughs>